Hello everyone, this is WoW Watchdoge. Today, B Squared Network has released a new task. It requires experiencing the EVM cross-chain bridge on a third-party service called Messen. If you haven't done the official cross-chain bridge task, you can check out my previous video, the link is in the video description. If you have completed the previous task with me, then you must have installed the Unisat wallet. For this task, we also need another wallet called MetaMask, the Fox wallet. I've created a video on how to install it and it's in the video description. Please pause this video, install the wallet, and then let's continue together. Welcome back, let's get started. First, step back to the task page, click on the wallet link in the upper right corner. Choose the Unisat wallet, click the yellow sign button to confirm the signature. At this point, we need to bind our Ethereum wallet, the Fox wallet, and our Bitcoin wallet, the Unisat wallet. Click on the address in the upper right corner. Click the link ETH wallet button, confirm the rules, click OK, choose the MetaMask wallet, allow the website to link the wallet, click the blue next button, then click connect, click the blue signature button, confirm wallet ownership. Back on the page, click the black confirm button to confirm that your address is correct. Now the website requires us to log in again. Click the black reconnect wallet to close the window, then click the connect wallet button in the upper right corner, still choose the Unisat wallet, sign in. Now we can see that the two wallets are correctly linked. Next, we need to obtain the testnet tokens to complete the task. There are three in total. Let's start with the first one, the testnet Bitcoin used as gas fees on the B squared network. Click on the wallet address in the upper right corner, click on the third B squared faucet button to enter the faucet page. Open the Fox wallet, copy our Ethereum address starting with 0x, paste it and click the black claim button. Now we have received the first of the three tokens. If it shows IP restricted, please change the proxy. Next, we need to claim test ether for our Ethereum testnet. Enter this third-party faucet website, copy and paste our Ethereum address starting with 0x, go through the human verification, click start mining. After a short wait, mining will begin. This task doesn't require too many tokens. Once we reach 0.02, the minimum withdrawal limit, we can click the red stop mining button below. Complete the human verification and click claim to withdraw test ether. It shows a successful send here. We open the wallet. Currently, the Ethereum quantity is still zero because we haven't switched to the testnet yet. Click on the Ethereum logo in the upper left corner, click to display the testnet, choose the Go Early network, and our test tokens will appear. Back to the task page, enter the third party cross chain bridge, click the claim test token button at the top, choose Go Early USDC, wait a moment, and I can see the balance. Let's transfer five of them first. Here, we need to choose the B squared network as the target network. Click the B squared network in the upper right corner. Then select ourselves as the receiver. Click the green swap button below. Click the approve button. Click next. Now the wallet pops up asking us to confirm. Wait a few minutes for the transaction to be on the chain. Return to the page and we can start the exchange. If it still asks for authorization, you can try the second custom amount. Select five and authorize again. Click swap, confirm, the wallet pops up and we click to confirm the transaction. Now it's a long wait, about 20 minutes for the cross-chain transfer. Then we move on to the second task, retrieving USDC. Click the exchange button in the middle, the wallet pops up asking if we want to switch to the B2 testnet. Confirm all the way through. You can see that we already have 4.5 on the B squared network. Let's retrieve three, select ourselves as the receiver, click swap, the same process as before, confirm authorization, click confirm to submit the transaction. Then enter the long wait for cross-chain transfer. After 20 minutes, refresh the page and we can see that both transactions have been completed. Now, back to the task page, click refresh and our points are now in hand. If you encounter any problems in claiming tokens, you can join our discussion group and everyone will help. Some classmates are also helping distribute test tokens. Follow my YouTube or Twitter for real-time updates on new airdrop projects. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.